hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you guys for tuning in today we're just going to do the january budget for the first paycheck of january um and a cash stuffing for our um envelopes so let's go ahead and get started so today we took out 244 for our um our cash envelopes we don't have many we just did the necessities um, we redid our budget for 2021 we're trying to do our best to save and pay off debt as much as we can so we won't usually have a huge uh, we won't usually have a huge uh, cash stuffing per se so as you can see I do I have the let me grab the other ones. I have the box set. It's probably too big to show, but as you can see, I have the box set from the Budget Mom. I did January because, of course, it is January. Let's go ahead and get started. So, as you can see, we did our budget here and wrote out our cash envelopes for what we needed. We broke it down for the cash envelope slip. I also did give my husband this to take to the bank as well um, to show the cashier um, the breakdown of the bills that we needed. Um, she mistakenly missed a bill, so it kind of messed us up. And then she gave us more than what we asked for in our 20s, but everything still totaled out to 244. So I won't be going by this because we didn't get the actual denominations that we asked for. So, but total is still the same so let's go ahead and get started okay so for groceries because we do live in Europe we do euro um I'm bringing this down a little bit we do euro and we do US um, so we leave um, a certain amount in our bank accounts so that we can use on the economy and then the rest we take out in US to use um, on base so for groceries, we did 150. So I'm gonna take 140 in 20s and then a 10 or 150. And we left 100 in our bank account um, for for the additional money. So all together, groceries is supposed to have 250 all together. So put that to the side. We don't have anything for eating out or blow money. This um this paycheck, these are not necessities. Um we just had a baby, so we won't be eating out anywhere. We have friends and my husband's coworkers who have been doing meal trains for us. Um so we've been blessed to have people bring us food the past couple of days, so we won't be needing these. For households, we have uh, 50, so 20, 40, and then 50. We use household for like toilet paper, tissue, cleaning supplies, all that stuff. So, and we go through those things pretty fast in this house, especially, oh, you hear my baby? Especially uh, with our daughters, um, we go through paper towel like it's nobody's business. Okay, and then also, we are also doing the um, the Budget Mom Savings Challenge for 2021. I did it last year. Uh, we did really well, and then we end up having to leave. Um, well, not leave, but we end up coming back from um, a family emergency, and we end up needing that money that we put away. And it was actually nice to have that cash um, with us or on us from the savings challenge. So we're doing, we're starting again, starting fresh. So I'm using the old envelopes from last year instead of printing out new ones, though her prints are really cute for this year. But to save paper and color, um, I'm just gonna use what I already have. So for January, our word was bling, or let's say my husband's word was bling so mm -hmm. let me bring it up here really quick so you guys can see okay so as you can see here i'm gonna 
bring this up a little bit. As you can see here, um, we chose the word bling, which equals out to $44. And I just highlighted each one um, for the number that goes with it. So the left, the rest of the money goes into our um, savings challenge. So let's go ahead and do that. And this is supposed to be, like I said, 44, so 20, two tens, and four ones. All right, and so now I'm going to write it over here because this was um, from the last year's. So I'm just gonna put, uh, I'll start getting here because I can continue to use this. So our last word was reset. Our new word is bling, so I'm going to put that over here on this side. Alright, I'm going to put 0121. Then deposit plus 44. Alright, I'm going to do that because we're starting fresh. So January has 44 in there for the month of January. So we have completed that savings goal for January. And the goal is to not use this cash. It is to keep it um, for the whole year and save. So that is done. We also did our sinking funds. However, we decided to do something different this year instead of having um all our sinking funds in cash as you can see here this is my sinking funds um envelope and we have all of our sinking funds here um to go in here however my husband had a good idea instead of us using cash to put in here um we're just going to do trackers so i need to actually laminate these cut them out and put them inside of here and we'll do trackers everything's going to be electronic so we um, transfer money into our sinking fund um, bank account. We don't have different bank accounts. We just have one checking and we put all the sinking funds in there. And then with the tracker, we'll put in here and then we can see which amount, which envelope has which amount. So um, we did think about doing certain um, envelopes with cash in it, like hair care, because of course we get our hair done very frequently. So keeping that cash would be nice. And um, not really much else we would keep or like maybe car maintenance or vehicle maintenance but that'll probably stay in because most of the time we go off base and that's in euro so it's better just to keep it on a card and yeah so like i said we'll be doing that in um electronically so that's why there's nothing in here um but if you notice you did see that we put down seeking funds seeking funds was um 444 and we already transferred those to our um, seeking funds bank account as you can see or not as you can see but as I'm telling you so yes so thank you guys for tuning in and watching my video I hope to see you next time have a great day bye